So right now we're taking a look at the Renogy battery monitor. It has a lot of data and these battery monitors can be a little bit expensive. So in this video today, we're going to take a look at a much cheaper alternative and see if it stacks up to this Renogy battery monitor. Let's take a look at this Eco-Worthy battery monitor. Now this thing comes in at a fraction of the price. If I remember correctly, I paid about $28 for this. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what's included. There's everything included. Now the first thing that you'll notice right off the bat is the monitor screen is a little bit smaller than the Renogy battery monitor and instead of using a shunt they're using this little hole switch I think they call this and you pass your wires through there and it serves the same type of function as a shunt now there is some information so feel free to pause your screen if you want to read those specifications the next thing that we see here is the power wire and the data wire and then we do have a user manual. Let's go ahead and take a look at this user manual. So right here, product introduction. Very nice. Display and buttons. There is your setting overview. Setting detail chart. and then a little bit more on that and then of course your wiring diagram and instead of the negative going through the shunt it looks like they're putting the positive through so very interesting and then here's some operations information And I'm really curious how accurate this is because I love the Renogy battery monitor. It works good. Parameter chart. Gives you all that information there. There are some facts. And then of course a little bit more facts some precautions to look out for and if you need some contact information for support there it is right there so let's take a closer look let's open this all up and we'll connect this up and see how it goes so that is definitely neat looking it's got like an epoxy kind of feeling in it that's where the data connects to you can screw this to a piece of wood and it'll hold it in place and you just run your wires through there and that's a pretty good size hole so you could run some pretty thick wires through there here is the battery monitor itself pretty simple you got data here and power there so from the looks of it it looks very straightforward again here is your power wire and it's interesting that they give you a positive and a negative instead of just a positive so very interesting and then your data wire let's go ahead and hook this up okay so right here I have a 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery I've got a 2000 watt ampeak uh, pure sine wave inverter I have a 200 I think this actually can draw up to 300 watts this is a little electric heater now I will say in the diagram the pictures show this thing going around the positive line but when I had this around the positive line and I withdrew electricity by turning a device on 
instead of saying minus on the monitor, it said plus on the monitor. So I swapped it out and put it on the negative line. These wires that come with the monitor are plenty long and the monitor screen is pretty straightforward and pretty easy to set up. So let's take a look and see. I finally got it programmed for 100 amp hour. To do that, I just push and hold this settings button and then you get to the settings menu. Go up and you can put in 100.000 and that will give you 100 amp hour for this battery. And then when you're finished, you have it dialed in at 100 amp hour. And now I'll turn on the inverter and then we'll turn on this little heater and watch the numbers. Now you can see I'm getting a little bit of heat. It gives me the remaining time left. It also gives me the amp hour rating that I have left in the battery, the current draw in watts and in amps, the battery voltage, and then the capacity of the battery. So this is a nice little monitor and it looks to be working very well. It lights up really nice. It was easy to program, easy to understand. Uh, there is another thing that I wanted to tell you so I turn that off real quick. If you want to zero this out and tell it that your battery is full, you just push and hold this up button and you'll see that it tells you you have a 100 amp capacity. So I'll turn on the inverter again and we'll turn on the heater and now we'll start back again from 100 amp hour. So if you know that your battery is fully topped off, that's why you would push and hold that up button. But so far, from what I can see, it has pretty accurate numbers. I love the fact that it gives us right up here, if, if I draw this load with this capacity of battery, I can run this for six hours. Now I like this monitor. It's very easy to read. It gives you all the numbers that you need and I really like it up here in the top right corner. This gives you the amount of time that you can run that current load. So if I turn the heater off, Look at that, the numbers completely change. If I turn the heat back on, look at that, it gives us about almost six hours that I can run this heater off of this battery. This is very nice. The wires are plenty long. It was easy to hook up. It, I didn't have to do anything with a shunt or anything like that. You just pass your wires through. You have a positive and a negative little skinny wire. They go to your battery. There's the negative. There's the positive. And then on the back of this, you have your data that goes to the monitor. And then you have power and data on the monitor itself. I can't say enough good things about this. If you're in search for a battery monitor for your system, and you are on a budget, I do believe very confidently that this eco-worthy battery monitor would be a good solution. They did not send this out for me to review. I bought this with my own money and it was super, super simple to hook up and it works really well. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please feel free to leave comments down below if you're interested in this. I'll put a link in the description box. And until next time, again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a beautiful day. We'll see you on the next one. Bye for now, everybody. Take a look at that. That is absolutely fantastic. We'll see you on the next one.